Chapter three, Introduction to Physics and Astronomy. From the wise ones of old, the teachers of true science, the originators of true civilization. Two, all who desire a new perspective and are tired of the old lies and cannot understand what modern scientists are talking about. Here's an ancient perspective on physics and astronomy using modern concepts. What is physics? It is the knowledge of the laws and principles of atoms and electrons. What is astronomy? It is the knowledge of the laws governing stars and planets. What is the difference between stars and atoms? Size is the only difference. The laws and principles are the same. Atoms and electrons are miniature stars and planets and stars and planets are giant atoms and electrons. There is no difference except in size. The movements and revolutions are the same. The orbits are the same. The laws of magnetic attraction and repulsion are the same. Modern scientists want to keep the laws of atomic structure to themselves by cloaking it in a mystery. When I look up in the sky, I see the very same atoms they see in their electron microscopes. God put the stars out there for all to see who cannot afford the million dollar research microscopes because the stars are what the atoms look like in a miniature scale. The earth and the sun. Would you like to stand on an electron? The earth is a giant size electron. What is the nucleus of an atom? The sun is a giant sized nucleus. The electrons of every atom orbit around their nucleus exactly the same way the earth and other planets orbit around the sun. If you don't have a multi-billion dollar electron microscope to look at the nucleus, then look at the rising sun and there is a perfect nucleus. Look at the earth you stand on and there is a perfect electron. Our, our solar system is a giant atom. The laws ruling its motions are the same as for an atom. We stand on an electron called the earth and lo and behold, the electron itself is made of electrons. Is the earth not made of atoms? Yes, it is. And if the earth is an electron, then the electron is made of electrons. If the solar system is an atom, then the atom itself is made of atoms. Mystery solved. What is the fundamental particle of matter? It will never be found by instruments because every atom is made of miniature atoms, themselves made of even smaller atoms to infinity. No wonder modern scientists can never find the smallest particle. They keep discovering smaller and smaller ones as their instruments improve. But we don't need instruments. They'd be handy if we could afford them, but we don't need them. We only need our minds.